your presence. Some things we should talk about. That's all right. I've been thinking quite a bit lately about something we can all relate to. Something that is I'm just here to protect Welcome, sir or madam, to Crazy Wolfgang's traveling junk store. The depot of detritus, the shop of slop, and the caravan of crap. Now, what odds and ends can I, the craziest of all possible Wolfgangs, offer to you? Crazy Wolfgang's got just what you need, assuming you need the random junk that I've got. Lucas Sims, town sheriff, and mayor too, when the need arises. The quiet type, huh? Fine. Might help keep you out of trouble. I hope you're not a weirdo. Got enough of those already. I'm glad we understand each other. Now, is there something I can help you with? Nope. Sorry. I got enough fires to put out in this place that I don't have time to keep tabs on every visitor. I'd ask around town. You're looking... If you need to buy something... Moira, up in the crater side Now I know I've never seen you in Megaton before. Well, let me guess. Just passing through, right? We get people trying to settle down here all the time. Anyway, if you're hungry, you came to the right place. What can I get you? Oh man, you're looking for your dad? That is so sweet. Did he run out on you when you were a kid or something? Our parents died when we were kids. My brother Leo, he's the oldest. He raised my brother Andy and me. It was hard on him, but we turned out okay. But God, you don't want to hear about that. I'm sorry, but I haven't seen your dad. He didn't eat at the Brass Lantern. I'd remember if he did. Come back if you need something. Freaking death to hear the thunder of his voice. Who have we here? Could it be? A new addition to our humble little community? 
dear child, welcome. Welcome to Megaton. I am Confessor Cromwell, prophet of Atom and father of the Undying Glow. Please, child, come to the church anytime, anytime at all. Many of the transient visitors end up at one of Megaton's seedier establishments. I suggest you speak to Colin Moriarty and continue your search there. Walk in the glow. Morning. Junk. Every day is the same damn thing. I told you, Gob, it ain't the radio. The Enclave station comes in fine. It's Galaxy News. Their signal's been shit lately. Hey, smooth skin. You need something? A drink, maybe? Anything? Anything at all? Haven't you ever seen a ghoul before? Not all of us got the chance to hole up in a nice cushy vault when the bombs fell. A bunch of us got stuck out here in the world and got a full-on blast of heat and radiation. Turned us into a pack of walking corpses. Near as I can tell, we age slower than you. A lot slower. There were even a few ghouls that were alive during the war. Of course, with a face like ground Brahmin meat, you can imagine that folks don't take too kindly to us. Nice of you to say so. If you can't be nice, at least pretend, right? Fake it till you make it and all that. Still, though, a fake compliment is better than the usual spit in the face that I get. You're not half bad for a smooth skin. Oh, yeah. I do remember a guy like that. Honestly, I usually keep my head down. I tend to get smacked around if I look customers in the eyes. But talk to Moriarty, he'll know more. I was like you once. I wandered into town looking for an escape from this stupid joke of a body I'm trapped in. Now look at me. Very well. Moriarty keeps a computer terminal in the back. On it, he keeps all of the goings on in Megaton. If you can get onto that terminal, I'll bet he has information on your dad. Now get away from me, smooth skin. If Moriarty even suspects I told you this, I'm a dead ghoul. You making a move, huh? Yeah, look. Another one of you wasteland assholes. Look here, asshole. I don't like you. Stay clear of me and we'll have no trouble. There ain't much to tell. I used to live out in the wastes. I was a real bastard back then. But I've put all that behind me. What? Back out where? I left all that behind me. There's nothing but bullshit out there. Killing, stealing, violence. I'm not that guy anymore. Eh, yeah. You're right. Stupid idea, anyway. Come back if you... Yeah, what the hell do you want? 
Got something on your mind? It's locked. Colin Moriarty, at your service. Welcome to Moriarty's. My saloon, my home, my slice of heaven in this backwoods little burg. If you've got the caps, I've got your pleasure. Please sit down, make yourself comfortable. Your troubles are a thing of the past. My God, it's you. The little baby boy all grown up. Persistent little bastard, ain't you? Then and now, it would seem. It's been a long time, kid. Oh, your daddy passed through here all right. Here and gone. Got what he came for and then left. I I'm assuming you'll do the same, correct? <laughs> God in heaven, would you listen to yourself? Do you honestly believe that's true? The lies they've put in that head of yours. Your father brought you to the vault right after you were born. To keep you safe, you see. I remember it well. You stayed in my saloon, after all. That's right. Your father, his brotherhood a steel friend, and you, the suckling babe with nary a tit to suckle. Sorry about your mum. Truly. But, no matter. That big round door is open now, hasn't it? Daddy's gone, and you need to know why. Could be I know where and why. Ah, I see. You know, I heard about the brainwashing that goes on down there. From some other fella, escaped. Oh, five years back. All hail the overseer. We're born in the vault, we die in the vault, and all that other assorted lunacy. Kid, you've got better programming than our own deputy weld. You'd best wise up quick. Wouldn't want anyone taking advantage of you, hmm? Did he? Well, our time together was brief. What? That is the way of it out here. When a bond is forged, little else matters, hmm? Well, he did come through here, but he left. I'm truly sorry. It, but maybe you can catch up to him. He headed southeast into the city. Said he needed information from those loanies at the station. You know, Galaxy News Radio. What there is of it. recognize you. New in town or something? I do. I'm looking for someone to make a delivery. Interested? Actually, I don't have any caps with me. I used everything I had buying a shack in this town. But if you'd be nice enough to help me, I bet my father would pay you something for all the trip. What do you say? Great! I'd like you to deliver this message to my family in the Arafu settlement. I haven't heard from them in months, and I'm worried. As soon as you get there, talk to Davis West. He'll be glad to pay you for the trip. Hey. Please, please help me. I need water. I'm dying. But please, if you find some, please.
security protocol initializing. Station security grid.
Shut. You, you don't need to worry. We're the best. Oh, no offense. Yes, sir. Sorry, but I'm a little busy. Look, I don't know who you are, but you don't belong here. The super mutants have overrun our brothers at the Galaxy News Radio Building, and we're headed there to back them up. You can tag along if you want, but keep your head down and try not to do anything stupid. You've been living under a rock? This is DC. The entire city is crawling with super mutants. Now, if you'll excuse me. There aren't a lot of safe places in the ruins right now, but the Galaxy News Radio Building is sort of our port in the storm. Unfortunately, the building's been hit pretty hard lately. We're their backup. So if there are no more questions, we really need to move out. Watch yourself. The usual Welcome, drill. Welcome, friend. Redden. You My just brothers do whatever may be rough, but they will lay down their lives for you. Yes, ma'am. Thank <laughs> you. 
go? How did I do, Vargas? Pass my little trial run? Come on, Lion's Pride needs me and you know it. That Citadel guard duty is such a bull. You can follow us as far as GNR, but keep your head down if you don't want it to get blown off. That's a net. Our vi Watch yourself. You're telling me. I guess it's my turn to thank you. Anyway, the area's secure, so you're free to talk to Three Dog if you need to. I'm sure. You can handle yourself, I'll give you that. But let's not get carried away. Well, the Brotherhood needed a secure outpost, and the guy who runs the radio station needed to not get his head ripped off by super mutants. It's a mutually beneficial relationship. Three Dog is the man in charge. He keeps that signal broadcasting pretty much single-handedly. He's, um, interesting. I'll give him that much. Watch yourself out there. <laughs>